Dr. Barr. Um, Gustavo and I are gonna present the our project that we didn't present last time because I was absent and we didn't have time. Um, this is the name of our program, Running and Development, Running and Female Development. Uh, we're gonna go over uh, the goal, the initiative, the program, objective, and pretty much how we did the website. So we have here the initiative, the goal, and the PCB needs. The initiative is pretty clear, uh, female development through running and exercise. And our goal is to provide young ladies a structure program that will help with the mental and physically, feeling more um, girl power, empowerment, and everything like that. And the PCB needs is more related to how they can do the 5K since they haven't done a 5K before. Uh, this is explaining them how they have to be prepared and what is better for them to do before the 5K. Our program objectives um, is actually um, telling the girls and the community to encourage girls to be more active outdoors, do more activities, not only running, but pretty much every kind of activity outdoor and not just have keeping the girls inside their home or just not enjoying outdoor life activities. Um, we're gonna do the 5K, it's, pretty, it's only girls so see, from ages from 10 to 14. And hopefully this program will create a big, pack, a big impact in the community and it will encourage girls to be, you know, be more um, outdoor and more, um, do more activities often after school. So here we have some running benefits that we think uh, maybe is the key point of our, our website. So we want to show the girls that running has a lot of benefits. So running can be fun and can be good for them at the same time. Uh, it's a healthy exercise. Uh, so that's why it can change their, their way of living. And the last benefit uh, is, is to complete the 5K run. This is our objective. Uh, it should complete the 5K run. They should have a preparation. They gotta be confident. Uh, they they should have a confident spirit, mind, and body. So here, you know, here we have a little bit of our website preparation. Uh, the first class we decided about the design, but in the middle we changed the design. So we sent an email to Laura just just to understand a little bit more about what they want us to do. So the third, uh, we did some research about subjects related to running, uh, what they need to do to be prepared to do the 5K running. Uh, we have a meeting to continue building the, the website and then we decided to change a little bit the design to make something a little bit easier than it was before. And then we sent another email to Laura to discuss about the final website topics. And then we did a final meeting to just to finish the website. And then we're going to show you the final website. So on this video, uh, we're gonna go over the website and show you how it works. Um, I know you saw it already, but we'll make some changes since we, since we contact um, Laura. So this is the, I'm gonna show you with the phone. Um, this is pretty much the home uh, page and then we have the on the home page we have different sections who we are the objectives the initiative and the goal and the running benefits mm -hmm. and then we just give a little story about us just like two students creating the website and supporting the program and things like that um, if you click each arrow it will take you to that site and then, then give you a better briefing of who we are then you can just always go back to the home page and then it's gonna be the same thing for each one. This one uh, tells you a little bit more about the project, actually what it is the project about and um, the community and pretty much um, like the program uh, objective. And then we go back again to the home. And it's with each, with each one will be the same one and it will take you to that um, a specific um, section and it will give you just more details about it. And if we go to the end, uh, we can see our contact. Uh, so I have here my name, my phone number, if they need like some help with the website, of if they need like more information, we have Paolo's number and email. 
So we think it's very important for them to have our contact if they need something. And also, uh, if you check the, the menu, the, yeah. so here we have uh, about the project, the objective, initiative and goals, what Paula just said, and we have a little bit of the preparation, uh, what the girls should do to be prepared to run uh, a 5k running so uh, we have some advices here first uh, they gotta avoid stress on race mornings for example uh, lay out the clothes shoes and jerry you will wear the night before so the night before you need to be prepared uh, the second one you gotta eat like healthy dinner before the race uh, try to avoid eating different types of food that you are used to uh, the third one, you gotta separate your clothes and accessories uh, that will be used on the run, so you gotta be ready. So the last one, maybe uh, can be challenging for them to sleep the night before running. So if they click here, uh, we have a breathing exercise they can do by, by themselves. Turn off the lights, lie da lay down in bed, uh, close your eyes, breathe a little bit count to 5, 10, so they have this option of breathing exercise. Uh, also, we have in yeah, the night before, um, the 5K preparation. We divided the 5K preparation uh, with three divisions. We have the training options, we have the nutrition facts, and we have the stretching parts. So the training options here, they gotta be ready to, to run the 5k, so we have some options of running exercise before the race. So here we have like straights and curves, if they have a track, this is what they have to do. If they have a track, like walk five, walk five minutes, warm up, run the straight stretches of the track and walk the curves. Uh, if they don't have a track, they can do it on the road, so we have all the topics everything very well explained for them so in the end we have what it does so why this exercise is important uh, why this exercise will help them to prepare themselves to run the 5k so if you come here we have the second one the jar filter shifter we explain have the destination running, what it does, and the intervals, run, intervals running. So just a lot of options, like four options of exercise should be ready to practice for the run. Uh, also, 5K preparation, we have the nutrition facts that we talk about carbs, uh, how much of carbs they need to, to eat before, uh, and here we have some options of carbs, we have like vegetables, broccoli, carrots, fruits, uh, cereals, pasta. Uh, also we have the protein part, approximately 25%. So we have all information they need here. Some example of protein, chicken, white fish, pork and others. We have fats, uh, approximately 15% nuts, vegetables, olives, and others. And this is the most important part of the nutrition that we, we talk about drinking water because we know that uh, they don't used to drink water, they just used to drink soda. So here we have in bold, uh, it's important to stay hydrated all the time when training for a five, 5K run. Your body cannot function properly without water, so drinking, this is the most important part of the nutrition facts. Uh, just to finish the 5k preparation, we have the last topic, is stretching. We were going to videotape uh, us doing some stretching exercise, but we didn't have enough time. So we decided to put two videos here, stretching before running, there's a girl explaining five different types of stretching before you run and we have stretching after running 
so they can do this while they are practicing and also before and after the 5k run uh, and I think that's it this is our website and also uh, we think it's important to put like what what are the running benefits why is important for them to run so running benefits the first one is going to improve your health relieve stress boost your confidence eliminate pressure prevent disease and lose weight uh, we have these topics here if you if you want to know more about it about, about these running benefits just click here it's going to open up a page explaining each topic so we think it's really important for them to know why they are running so why are we doing this program for them so I think that's it do you oh, want to add something yeah remember that this website this is the phone mode that that's why it looks like that because we're actually looking at um, in our phone um, the website on the computer is just gonna be kind of the same but then you will have the whole menu on top you wouldn't have it like like this one you will have the whole thing on top um, the voice app is pretty much friendly use it's pretty easy to go over and we uh, make sure Gustavo and I will be clicking the arrows it will take you back or take you forward to that section so hopefully um, it's, it's gonna be helpful for them I know these parts it's because Laura, um, the communication we have with her, she actually want us to have that on the website. So Gustavo and I uh, prepare and we add those in a specific. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And just for you to know, I can say that uh, one weakness for her, for, for us, is that we needed to talk to her. We tried to talk to her by Skype, but we couldn't do it. So because of her connection, and we sent her an email just sending our our phone numbers try to talk by whatsapp and it didn't happen uh so yeah that's it we didn't do it but she, i know she has limited access on yeah, the internet that's what they told us and we she wanted to do the skype call even the skype video but her camera right didn't yeah. work so she could do skype i sent her my skype we sent her our skype but we never got hers and i didn't get added to the skype so that's why we couldn't do like the last communication with her while still waiting yeah but she saw the website she yeah. saw the design and she, she liked it yeah, yeah she really liked it and she thinks it's going to be very useful for them and this is what she she was asking us for to do so i think that's it that's it yeah Thank you very much for your attention, Dr. Barr. And I Thanks hope you for like letting, it. Me, letting us make the video. I'm and sorry I hope, that I was absent. I hope you like it. Yeah.